Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, we're going to be talking about this camera right here. I hope it's in focus. This is the Canon 6D, and I'll be telling you why I think that you should actually buy this camera. Now, before we get into today's video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you can be one of the first people to know when I put up a new video. And also, do not forget to go Hawk Smash on the like button if you like my content. Comment below, let me know what you think at the end of this video. And yeah, then I have a free eyes and teeth whitening action that I just put out and also free frequency separation action. You guys definitely check that out and also check out my skin tone lots that I just put up some weeks ago. You guys check it out if you haven't seen it. It is amazing. It is just a quick and easy way to color grade the skin and take it from zero to a hundred real quick. We should actually put that song. Zero to a hundred real quick, real quick. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about this camera and why I feel like this is the best affordable full frame camera that you can actually buy right now. And if you feel like I'm wrong, because this camera on some websites goes for as low as $500 right now, a full frame camera that goes for as low as $500. This is a 20 megapixel full frame camera from Canon. I can't remember when this came out, but this came out a couple years ago. And when it came out, it was an affordable or an entry level full frame camera. And I feel like right now it should still be the number one entry level full frame camera for anybody that's just looking to start photography or anybody that's in photography and they're looking to just get like a full frame camera instead of getting like a, one of the um, cropped sensored cameras. Now, if you're looking to do videos, this is definitely not a recommendation because the video out of this camera sucks. But if you're just looking at photography and you're looking at a full frame camera for an affordable price, you really cannot beat this camera. This camera can be found for $500 on some websites. For, that's just insane that you can see a camera that will put out so much quality for $500. Now, I know you can talk about the 6D Mark II, which still goes for about $1,300, um, which is roughly two times or more than two times the price of this camera right now. But um, I would advise you go that way if you are looking at doing, you know, some videos or probably even go with the EOS RP. But if it's just photography and you're looking for a full frame camera that can give you full frame quality and coverage for the lowest price point, I feel like you can't go wrong with this. And also, let me know, you know, leave comments down below if you want me to do a photo shoot with this camera and show you guys like the images because I haven't shot with this camera in a long time. So just let me know if you want to see me shoot with this camera and the kind of images that I'll produce. But trust me, you'll not be able to tell the difference between this camera and my Sony A7R 3 when I'm done shooting because almost everything goes online nowadays. And once it's on your Instagram page, you really cannot see how sharp the image is, except you're looking at prints and all that stuff. But once it's on Instagram, you will not be able to tell the difference between this camera and my Sony from somebody that can actually take pictures. If it's someone that can take pictures, or someone that's really good at what they're doing, you won't be able to tell the difference online. So this should be a camera that I feel like everybody should actually go out and buy right now. If you're looking to move into the full frame space, or maybe you're just looking to start photography and you want to start with the full frame camera, this is it. Also, if you need like a second camera, maybe you shoot weddings and all that, you should definitely think about buying this camera. So another thing about this camera is you're going to be getting Canon colors because it's baked into all their cameras and that's just amazing so if you're shooting with this camera be rest assured that your colors are going to almost look perfect all the time as long as your white balance is good so that's one amazing thing about this camera then this camera also comes with wi-fi so i feel like you can just connect this camera to your phone i know the wi-fi app is kind of like eh for canon but it's just another thing that this camera comes with so you know generally this is just an amazing camera that i feel like anybody looking to get into the full frame space should consider. And now this camera is not awesome. You know, it is old. It really does not have most of the new things that new cameras have, like, you know, the eye tech that the focus that the Sony's have or the new Canons have and all those nice features. It, it does not have that. The autofocus on this camera actually sucks if you compare it to like newer generation cameras. But I feel like it is just for portrait photography. If you're looking at portraits, you're looking at weddings as a second camera. This you really cannot go wrong with this camera. Like I said, it is $500 on, on some websites right now. If you go on Fred Miranda and you register and you can get one to buy on Fred Miranda, it goes for between $500 to $525 on Fred Miranda. And I'm pretty sure you can see for even cheaper if you probably check eBay and all those websites. 
And $500 for a camera that is really clean and almost brand new. So I feel like you can't go wrong with this camera. Anyways, I just want to talk about this camera real quick. This used to be the king of entry-level full-frame cameras. And I still feel like it should still be the king right now if you are looking at getting a full-frame camera for the cheapest price possible. If you feel like there are cameras that are better than this at this price point of $500, then definitely comment below. Let me know because <laughs> I just don't feel like you can beat this camera. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. This was just meant to be a quick video talking about the Canon 6D Mark I. I did a video previously some years ago saying this was the best camera of uh, the best full frame or best affordable full frame camera of 2018. And I feel like it's going to be the best affordable full frame camera for such a long time because of how much the price has dropped. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like I said, you're looking to pick up this camera, you should definitely pick it up. It's an amazing camera. I shot with it for a couple years. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing week. Peace.